Tom Johnson, Thomas Wise, everyone now swarming around that number 17 machine. And Carlos, I, I'm thinking already that to that. Oh, he get clipped. There's contact. The number 13's in the wall hard. And that will surely bring out a caution flag. No caution just yet. They're still wrecking on the front stretch. Thomas is. Weiss finally goes around. And there is the caution flag. And it all stemmed from a little bit. Oh, oh my gosh, rushing. we got a car upside down. Johnny Berardi is flipping on the front stretch. End over end. And finally, that number 99 comes to rest. But that car is going to be smoking. Looks like he's going to be able to get possibly back to pit road under caution. That was a long accident. Let's see what happened on the replay. I think it all started with a... Yeah, I think it all started with a little bit of contact here uh, from the 1 and the 17. There it was. That gave the 17 a nudge. And then the 1 clipped the 13. The 1 was doing everything he could to save it. And then finally ran out of room and got into Matos yet again. And then let's watch what happened here. Oh, the number 99 maybe got a little bit of a, a clip on the right rear corner. That sent him in the wall. Gives the gyro cam a good workout as it spins around there uh, in the uh, where the passenger seat would be on a production car. Uh, definitely a tough break here. Let's see what happened. Looks like the number 99. Uh, ooh, just a little clip Fernando there from the 17. Yeah, it was there. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what happened carlos i so just don't think he knew he was there yeah typically right after a wreck especially when you're involved in it you're more concerned about how the car is handling you're not really uh typically paying attention to who exactly is around you because everybody's slowing down you it's it's one of those like the danger's gone so i can relax and then you relax too much and it causes that